this up a little bit. I don't know. Now we're back. Okay. Goodness gracious. Hey, little guy. You're gonna be reunited with your sister soon. I'm totally ready to go now. Bye, Herbert. I know most of these by heart at this point. I wish I could have finished this before I left, but God, it was a slog. I'm to have to leave this behind, but the old house would probably collapse if I blasted this inside. Man, the soundtrack to my angsty teen years. I'll leave it for the nap. Been listening to this in a loop lately. Oh, gonna miss these dum dums. Denali. I need to get my application ready for next summer. Tyler. Hi. First time we see each other in 10 years, and it's hi, Tyler. Oh, sorry, I... It's fine, Allison. Hi is a good place to start. God, it's good to see you. <sighs> Likewise. You have anything else you need to get? Nope. This is it. My last 10 years in a bag. Then we should get going. We just have time to make the morning ferry. You look good in that. Thanks. One of my mentees designed it. It's really good. Yeah, he's so incredibly talented. I got a couple of local coffee shops to hang his art. Tyler Ronan, shaping the leaders of tomorrow. Yep, we're screwed. <laughs> so, are you gonna miss anything about this place? Honestly, people. The other residents, my mentees, my counselor, Aaron. It took me a while to fit in, but once I did, it felt like home. They made me feel safe. Safe enough to 
be me. That's so great. I'm really happy for you. We planning to get to Delos Crossing or push? You are welcome to walk. Nah, I'll take my chances. Need one last look or anything? Looked. Let's go. not creative enough to make that stuff up. Oh, and just last week, they had to turn the ferry around because a bear was on board. No way. Someone heard a commotion in the back of a delivery truck, so they opened it up. And there was the bear, fat and happy on a literal mountain of empty chip bags. <laughs> you go where the food is. Oh, I can relate to that. So then what happened? I'm not sure. I think they couldn't get him to leave, so they tranked him. Oh, poor buddy. Shot in the ass just for getting the munchies. Yeah, well, you know what they say. Safety first in bear country. Yeah, but prevention is best. Common sense goes a long way in keeping them from getting shot. The bear is fine, Tyler. For now. You hear they've been talking about loosening up regulations on trophy hunting again? Higher bag limits, inhumane ground traps, even bringing back hibernation hunting. What kind of asshole gets off on killing a sleeping animal? I'm not against hunting, but predators play a vital role in the health of our natural parks. What? Why are you smiling? I'm being serious. Oh, I can tell, Ranger Tyler. Not yet, but at least I got the school part out of the way. I can't believe you've got a bachelor's already. While I boast a half-completed certificate in accounting from an online college that may have stolen my credit card number. You'll figure out what you want. You have time. How are you feeling? Like I'm about to drive straight into a whiteout and my fog lights are dead. What about you? That's gorgeous. Allison? Well, zoned out there for a second. Sorry. What's up? I'm sorry. I'm just trying to wrap my head around the fact that you're right here, standing beside me, on our way to Delos. Hey, Jordan. You don't have to apologize. It's a lot. How are you doing? I'm guessing things haven't changed much. You mean in Delos? Still the capital of East Jesus Nowhere. I love too. Can't wait to get out of here. You love me a lot. Oh. Guess that normal life you wanted didn't live up to your expectations, huh? I mean, having cable and full time electricity was definitely a plus, but no one ever forgets anything in a small town. You get marked a weirdo, and that's it. That's your life. At least you had Michael. Yeah. I don't think I'd have survived high school without him. Bet you're gonna miss him when you move to Juno. How's he doing? Good. Good, good. Uh, but I haven't seen him much outside of work lately. He's been busy with his dance and helping his clan organize a potlatch. You are watching a movie earlier? Is that smoke coming out of Stonehouse? Guess someone finally bought that old shack. That, or the ghosts are cozying up by the fire. Think the new owners know it's totally haunted? I'm sure Tina did her best to keep them from figuring it out. At least until the paperwork was signed. Ugh. That house always gave me the creeps. Yeah, that's me moving on. Those windows are like huge gawking eyes. Uh, you think people talk about our house this way? Probably. Do what? If 
So, we're really going back there, huh? To Stonehouse? I mean, we're going home. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Think the house will sell? No interested buyers yeah, yet. Know. Turns out, people don't line up to buy murder houses with no electricity. <laughs> At least it's got one hell of a view. Unlike Juno. Hey, Juno has mountain views aplenty. It just also oh, has so people and fun. Are you still thinking you might be my roomie? Be like thinking about it. Hey, can I ask ago. you a question? Shoot. I was told... Um, I mean, after you, well, graduated, I guess, and became a mentor three years ago, you still basically spent all your time at Fireweed, right? Pretty much. There were a few times I tried to go to these meetups for trans people in Juno, but something always came up. I probably should have put myself out there more, but it was better to be around in case the residents needed me. So you He's were free to come and go okay. as you pleased? Yeah. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, nothing. Just being an overly invested sister. Curious how you spent your time. Oh, so the, I thought they were fraternal twins. Pretty sure I like have been told it about. Allison. Yeah? Spit it out. Okay, you need to promise not to freak out. What is it? It's a gift. From Eddie. I know he's not your favorite person, but... I'm sorry. When you said Eddie, I thought you meant Chief Brown, as in the police officer who arrested me. Come on, Ty, don't... And your adopted father, the man who didn't let you visit me for seven years. The Fireweed Administration backed him up, Tyler. They thought it was best for both of us. Yeah, well, it wasn't. It's a peace offering. And you're the two most important people in my life. Please. For me. He can't buy my forgiveness with some cheap-ass trinket. It's a gift, Tyler. You know what gift-giving means in Clinket culture, and what it means to refuse one. Fine. I'll take it, but I'm not going to wear it. Really? Really. Just so we're clear, this was for you, not Chief Brown. You know, you could call him Eddie, or even Uncle. <laughs> Hard pass. Did you that hear that? Else? like home. Yeah. Would it ruin the moment if I said I needed to call home? Uh, yes. Completely. Sorry. Go ahead Wait, and stop please. apologizing all the time. Okay, sorry. <sighs> Thanks. So I guess we're playing more through him, maybe? It's so weird being back okay? on this boat. I'm gonna go to Pop Pop's house. I'll see what we can do, okay? Hmm. We're gonna do what, honey? Hmm. Impressive, ain't she? You planning to land a moose with that? Good eye. 
want to draw on a bull tag up this way. You got your license and tag on you? <laughs> Why, yes, officer. Everything's in order. You hunt? I fish, mostly. No shame in that. Anyway, you'll find there's lots of good fishing spots right here. I you know what to look for. Where are you headed? Uh, Delos Crossing? Same here. You from around here? Um, I'm not sure. It's Alexander and... Born and bred. Ah, oh, you don't say. Tyler. I moved to Anchorage around your age. Delos was mostly Alaskan natives then. Clay kid, Ida. I haven't been home in five years. Oh, so you owed your family a visit? I'll say. You may not know it yet, but your folks, they get old real fast. Right. I'm Alex, by the way. Alex Gershwin. No relation. Huh? To George Gershwin. Um... Gershwin, the pianist. Okay. Folks are always asking for related, so I try to head it off the pass. Oh. Uh... What'd you say your name was? I didn't. I'm Tyler. Tyler Ronan. I, uh... uh Ronan, huh? Ronan as in the Ronans? Uh-huh. So, uh, you're... I never knew those girls had a brother. We didn't. Uh, oh, boy. I, uh... Nice talk. Yeah. Enjoy your time in town, Tyler. Hey, Allison. Can we take the scenic route instead of the highway? Allison? Don't think she can hear you. <laughs> Guess not. Around town. Yeah, that's their car. There they are. Hey again. Fancy meeting you here. Did you make a cannery still going strong, huh? Not sure what people would do around here if it weren't. There's sharks in the water. And it's cold in that water, too. Mm -hmm. so I guess that's a way to quickly end it is going to go. Almost. They're driving home. Let's see it in the car.
It's basically exactly like I remember it. Only faded. Like a Polaroid left on a windowsill. From the outside, it almost looks charming. Charm's not the problem. Structural integrity may be an issue. You think there's a chance whoever buys it will just tear it down? If someone buys it, they can do whatever they want with it. You wouldn't care at all? Would you? Sure. Everywhere I look, I see a piece of one of our adventures. Everywhere I look, I just see her. Allison, we could go grab a bite. Start this tomorrow? No. The only way to get this done is to do it. I'm guessing he shot his mom or their mom or something. After you. Uh, did you smoke something before you left Fireweed? The door's right there. Locked. Well, it's a good thing I remembered this. You sure that's the right key? Yes. Maybe someone changed the lock. Who would change the lock on us? I don't know. We're screwed. You got a plan B? Yeah. We find another way in. I never knew a locked door that could keep the crafty goblins out. Yeah. We had a million ways in and out of this old house. At least one of them's gotta work. <sighs> the crafty goblins. I haven't thought about them in forever. Or should I say, us. We almost spent more time as goblins than we did as kids. Oh, do you remember all the other characters? Remember how mad she'd get if we didn't use the compost? And she always knew when we were lying. Waste not, or kiss the planet goodbye. You need a hand with that? <clears throat> no, it should be fine. Okay. If we just get this board out of the way, I could probably squeeze through. So we need something to pry it off. <sighs> It's screwed in pretty good. We need a screwdriver. I can't believe these are still here. Yeah, we should hide them so they don't frighten away potential buyers. At least the shed's still standing. Yep. I don't want to think about what might be living inside it, though. Well, better alive than dead. Ugh, yes. Let's... Hey, it's locked, all right. Okay. Should be something in here that'll work. Homemade cleaning products may be better for... Hey, I see a screwdriver. Now all we need to do is get inside. Wait. I, um... I'm feeling something strange. This room until everything looks as clean as a whistle. Ugh. That looks to be effective. This is the millionth and, um, time I've gotten in trouble because of you. You and your big mouth. Hey, you were thinking the same thing. You just weren't brave enough to tell her. What good would it do? It's not like she ever listens to us anyway. Well, I'd rather scream it right in her stupid face than be a quiet little mouse. Oh, we forgot the key. We need to put it back. Maybe we could hide it somewhere. You know, for fun. Goblins are supposed to help the princess, not play mean tricks. Whatever, you're not fun. I'm only trying not to make her even worse. Whoa, did that just happen? I don't know, but I saw it too. It felt like it did when we used to share thoughts with our voice. It did, but that was a memory of us 10 years ago, right? I, I vaguely remember it happening. I think so. And uh, that's new, right? Yeah. We could share thoughts and feelings, but we never replayed memories like that. Why would... One moment, guys.
All right, I'm happy. Sorry about that. And why that memory? I don't know. It's pretty eerie. It's weird, but our voice was always a good thing. This could be too. I'm feeling something again. Near the barn. Yeah, me too. Hurry! Let's go see the silent frog. Coming. I'm coming. What? Stop sulking. I told you already. I'm sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> okay. Guess you don't want to see what I put in the treasure room then. What? No, I want to see. I guess we know where to search now. We just have to remember which one is the silent frog. Damn, where's the key? Seriously? Kidding. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. Nice job keeping the secret, buddy. I, would, I totally would just guess that. <laughs> At least the shed's still standing. Yep. I don't want to think about what might be living inside it, though. Well, better alive than dead. Ugh, yes. Let's deal with that later. Plenty else to do first. What? I, damn game is on my mind. I can't figure. Can't remember what the name of it was. <gasps> Sorry. Mm. Unravel. That's what it was. It was the thing where they had the memories like that as you go through the story. Got it. All this for a screwdriver? You got a better idea how to get in? Huh. Who left this box here? It looks brand new. It wasn't me. Has someone been out here recently? Guess it's your lucky day, bird friends. How did she get around on these roads with this thing? She'd rather have broken her neck than spend money on a new one. Yeah. Still waiting for those bikes she promised us. Uncle Eddie got me one, but I hardly uh, ever used it. Right over there. These birds should get a reward for watching the house all these years. Thank you for your service, little friends. Remember how whenever we lost our toys in the sand, we thought the mad hunter had stolen them? Aw, uh, you're out of your element, little guy. How do you know? Maybe he's a snowfish. Hey, I think that's the same rake I cut my foot on. Wait, your foot? Wasn't that me? Boy? Oh, yeah. I think you're right. How many sandcastles did we build with this? None that survived. We thought this sandbox would hide us from the mad hunter, remember? That's right. The sand was, what, supposed to distort his piercing eye? <laughs> ah, the mad hunter. That was some dark shit for two little kids. Yeah, that's why we liked it. Doesn't seem like the greenest source of energy. Not like she had the money for solar panels. I still can't believe I convinced you to climb that raggedy ash tree with me. Yeah, not happening a second time. Oh, come on. I was the one who fell out. And then I had to walk all the way to Delos Crossing to get Tessa to drive you to the hospital. I was fine. You had a concussion. She flipped out. When she finally got back from bartering for socks or whatever. 
Tessa was so mad she wouldn't even talk to her. I'm just checking everything before I go in. No, you're right. Ah, oh, fuck it, nah. Getting in this way. There are other ways inside. Come on. Oh, I get the screwdriver for it again. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, the pride thing. Oh. You sure you want to go in there? This was our very first den, remember? Who knows what lives down there now? Everything okay down there? Tyler? Ah! Oh, that's not funny! <laughs> then why am I laughing? Okay, fine, but you're still an idiot. All right, I'm going in for real this time. Okay, I'll see you at the front door in a few minutes. Ouch! Are you okay? What happened? <sighs> I just hit my head like an idiot. Wait. What? Where are you? Ty. I'm outside. But I can hear you in my head. Our voice. It's back. Holy shit. I, uh, don't suppose you remember how to get to the hatch. Dragons, straight ahead. Need to go left, I think. Left again after the goblins. Wow, can't say I ever expected to see you again. It's been a long time, buddy. afraid to say his name. He was Mary Ann's creation. She made all the creepy characters. I like how little the dust is from like, you know, when dust is flying around the old places flying down there. Down there the, the bottom of the chair legs and stuff. Look at that, that's some good stuff right there. Yeah. 
It's starting off a little slow, but usually their games pick up a bit after like a while. Tyler, are you in there? Tyler! Coming! Are you okay? I'll live. Good to hear your voice again. Yeah, same here. So, coming in or what? Just working up to it. Well, we're here. Here we are. So, how do we get started? We figure out what to keep, what to trash, and see what else this house might be trying to show us. All right, um... Wow. I'm gonna call it... Doesn't seem real. For now. Um... Let me stop here. I'll pick this up of course. tomorrow or something. Don't no forget to like, share, subscribe, no comment, because you for your boy. I'm out of here. Peace. Mm -mm. But I mean, um, I wouldn't say I'm enjoying the game yet because it's been slow. But um, they gotta work it in and you know make things fall into place and build characters and stuff. Because I don't, you don't, you obviously don't know the character and you try to figure out like I didn't know when he said trans. I'm like trans. Oh, oh, you know, kind of deal. So then you got that dude who's trying to hide his phobia on the boat and stuff like that. So. You know, and now Ooh, you know what their kind this of place power needs some is. Serious like cleaning. A psychological, a or an psycho, exorcist. A psychological link, I want to call it. Maybe I could explain that wrong. A psychic link. But um, I'll I'll stop here, guys. All right. Um, I'm out of here. Peace.